Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Wait a second, camera guy, is your mic on today? I am mic today. What's up? Well, this is a special video. It's from one of the people from our Show the World Your Garden tour. And she was also the very first person that we filmed really like outside of California. So I wanted to be a part of it. It is very special. Today, we're gonna root the dragon fruit cuttings that Debbie gave us when Yay. we were visiting her garden on Lanai. And it's, it's gonna be really fun because I have never grown dragon fruit before. So I'm gonna experiment, just like I'm always telling you guys. Experiment, try new things. I'm gonna try it a couple different ways, but I am gonna need your help in this process. So let's get going here. Now I have four dragon fruit cuttings that Debbie gave me, and I'm gonna try two in soil and two in water. But first off, let me show you the dragon fruit cuttings. I'm so excited to go dragon fruit. It is a cactus, it's a tropical fruit, and you can grow it in subtropical and tropical regions. It likes warm temperatures, doesn't like to get under 40 degrees, doesn't like frost. So in California here, it's perfect to grow it. But let me just show you the cuttings. If you are taking a cutting from a friend, you want to, um, first of all, take the cutting, but then make sure that the cutting is completely dried up. And by dry, I mean really, really, really dry. Because if you cut this cactus, um, it's going to be kind of wet here. And if you root a wet cutting, it can introduce bacteria into the plant or the cutting can rot. So this has actually been drying for several weeks and it's perfect to root. Now, to root it in soil, I've got basically my seed starting mix here, two little containers. And from what I've been reading and researching, it'll take about a week or two to root. So very easy to do. The soil is pre-moistened. This is actually my seed starting mix, which you can watch a video on how to make that if you want. It's a DIY. You just put it here in the soil. And this mix is pre-moistened, so it does have a little bit of moisture, but I am going to water it with something special to help it root in just a moment. So I got, to, actually I'm going to put the shorter cutting in the soil here. And there's no way I'll have room to grow all four dragon fruit plants, but I might give one away. And uh, who knows what space we might find in the garden. So I've got my cuttings rooting there in the soil. I'm gonna water them in just a moment. The second way I'm gonna root my cuttings, because I'm gonna try see, see which way works the fastest, is I'm gonna root them in water. So I've got two containers here. Just gonna stick them in my containers. And then what I'm gonna do to help them root a little bit faster, because this has worked really, really well with all of my herbs that I've been propagating, is put some of the Vermistera Vitality in the bottom. This has a natural growth hormone in it. So I'm gonna put a few drops in the bottom of each container, and then just cover the bottom of the stem there with some water. I'm not gonna fill up the whole entire container. So I don't want the cutting to rot. Just a few inches in the bottom. And then while we're at it here, I'm gonna go ahead and water my soil cuttings with some of the Vermistera Vitality, just to help them root a little bit quicker. Now I do have worm castings here in my seed starting mix, which uh, also have that natural growth hormone. I'm not gonna completely moisten and waterlog the soil here. Just wanna water it a little bit. And I may have to put a little support here in the taller one because it looks like it's about ready to fall over. So I got my Vermistera Vitality. I noticed it was wobbly. It is a little wobbly. And uh, I'm gonna check on these uh, a couple times a week and water them a couple times a week. Again, not waterlogging them because they are cactus. So you don't wanna waterlog them. Now, from what I've been reading, as they start to soak up the water, the, um, I guess the, the cutting here will start to plump up because it's been drying for several weeks. And once the water kind of soaks up through it, it's gonna plump up. In the soil, a sign that um, it's starting to root is if you pull on it and you have a little bit of resistance. Here I can just pull it right out. Once it starts to root, the roots are gonna get established. And from what I've been reading too, there's gonna be some growth that comes out the top. Mm. 
Okay, I wanted to make sure I got the dry side down in the soil. So um, now these, how I'm gonna experiment is, I'm gonna leave these outside to root, and I'm gonna put these indoors. Now, um, also in my research, it says you put, shouldn't put it in full sun to root, so I'll find a spot outside where it's nice and shady. And I am gonna try it a couple different ways inside. So let me just grab something, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna experiment rooting them inside as well. Be right back. So what I'm going to experiment on the inside dragon fruit is a seedling heat mat. Now a lot of you use these when you're germinating peppers or eggplant and it's pretty cool because for plants that like a lot of heat, and dragon fruit definitely is that, the, seed mat, the, seed, he, the seedling heating mat just kind of warms up the container by 5 or 10 degrees so it, hopefully it will help it root that much faster. So what I would, thought I would try and do is root one on the heat mat indoors and one off the heat mat indoors just to see which one roots faster. What was the name of the channel that you heard about this from? Yes, and the, the channel that I heard this tip from was Grafting Dragon Fruit Channel. Awesome. So go over, check that channel out. I'm definitely going to be watching more of his videos for all the dragon fruit help I can get. But I also need you all to help me out. For those of you that have grown dragon fruit, leave comments um, down below and let me know any tips or tricks that you might have for getting them to root, getting them to grow. This is a climbing cactus, so it's a huge plant. Go over and check out um, the video we did with Debbie for her amazing, huge dragon fruit cactus mm -hmm. tree. Jerry, are you ready for this? We're going to need a really strong support once our dragon, free, dragon fruit tree gets bigger. Mm. So I'm going to need you to help me build one. Got it. All right. Now, for the plants, uh, for the cuttings rooting in water, very important to change the water every couple of days, just like you would when you're rooting your basil or your mint, so the water, um, you know, doesn't get uh, so, the, so the cutting doesn't get rotted. If the water stays fresh, then I'll be adding another drop or two of the vitality each time I change the water. And these are going to be in a spot inside, not in direct sunlight, so that we kind of baby these dragon fruit and hopefully get them rooting within a week or two. So make sure you subscribe, follow along. It's going to be a really fun process to do together. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments and all your dragon fruit tips. I'm going to be thinking of a name for these plants uh, just to remember Debbie Bai or Lanai. So if you have any ideas on that, put them in the comments as well. Definitely. We look forward to reading your comments. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you see on the next, you on the next video. video.